Hello and welcome to the lecture. So we saw about the overview of the protecting the web services. So let's start implementing here in our demo application. So let's start with uh, you know starting of creating the roles first, which is the first step. And as you can see, there are already default roles here, which is created when this schema is enabled. So let's create our own role for our table, which is for our module for the countries. So it's loaded and here you can create a role as you wish. And before that, I just want to tell that we can create role through hot spill SQL API as well. So if we can see in this here, the documentation, you can see you can use this uh, package and uh, use that procedure to create this role just a role name to be inputted the same can be done through apex as well so i'm just creating a role here by using the create role button so it's asking me only the role name now so i'll just input it i'll just give some name like you know country role because we're accessing only the countries so i'm just putting the name and clicking on create role so the role is created as you can see it's listed here and even in here as well so to check with respect to from the back end with respect to that we have the list of views here and starting from roles privileges and clients we have everything and we'll just use this this is a view actually so i'm just starting to fetch the view here and as you can see that this lists me all the views that are created so this is the one which we created now and it listed here so that's how it's done and after the rules we have to create the privileges so let's go to privileges so it's loaded and we'll see that the three privileges are already created when we are enabling the schema so let's create our own privilege so here we are prompted with a lot of options and as i said earlier this also has a peer sql api if i can go to the you know there's a procedure called define privilege and the same inputs we are seeing as we want and there are various formats and you can go through that and we'll just focus on the apex first so here given to provide a name here and the title these two are mandatory so i'm just giving the same country dot privilege and with the title as country access so description if you want you can give and the comments as well so our role can be granted to privilege you know so a privilege can have you know a role can have lots of privileges so that's why we have the list of rules here you can select it so i'm just selecting the country role for now which i created earlier and even you can protect the module level or even at the template level so if you want the complete module to be protected you can select the module and the privilege will protect this and if you want a specific template and that means a pattern to be protected you can add the sources here as well so this is the same so pattern and a template are the same don't get confused and you can use that so i want to protect the module only so we have to protect it and before that i will just show you that now we will just uh, run the query which we have created in the postman uh, which we fetched from the odds request which is get i'm going to the postman if i try to send this i'm getting the data this is the country list we have only one template for now and that fetches me the countries using the get request so this fetches me that so i'm now protecting the module with this privilege not the template your module if you protect it it protects all the templates by default if you didn't mention the module and want to protect the templates only with the selected templates under the module you can mention here this resources without pattern so i'm just rotating the complete module so i'm creating the privilege so the privilege is created you can see that it's populated here and if you want to see from the view level i'm just querying this user routes privileges view and running it 
and it fetches me that same thing which we have provided here and yeah if you want to see the privilege mappings this will show me the patterns which are used but we don't have any patterns things and the mappings we for that privilege we didn't add any but if we add it it will be listed here and this roles and the privilege joining will be listed in this view for the user roles privileges roles so uh, as you can see these are the default ones which are mapped with this uh, role and the privilege and the role relationship is here and this is the one which we created for this privilege and this role is mapped if we have created one more role with that privilege will be listed here as well with the same privilege name so this is the thing with the view and now let's go to the postman since this is protected now if i try to send it I will get the different errors so meaning if you preview it it is showing me that it's unauthorized so it's protected and you can confirm it by going into this uh, template not the template it's module so here we can see that this is protected by privilege that is checked with the legend you can confirm it so it's protected and since the module we are protecting it the complete templates will be protected and that's how things are happening so we have to do in some way which we saw in the method of OAuth to create a client and there are various methods to enable it and we have to various clients and that has to be created and you can see that packages here i'm creating with the worth package and those things and the explanation how it is needs to be accessed we'll see that in the next lecture